My name's Colin and I'm the managing director of the Myuma Group. Um, you know, it's really diverse, so from road, road building, road maintenance, civil construction, um, <coughs> CDP, job, you know, um, job active, so that's creating jobs for people, innovation technology, um, and, and generally just looking after people and country. So we're here, this is our home, so um, we originally started from here. Where we've got our footprint is um, in Bladderwich, um, Alpra, Nguala, Picheta, Alpalalum, um, Camwell, Dijara, Bulia, Mount Isa, Richmond, Julia, Crick, Long Curry, Huendon, um, and in Longreach, and a base in Brisbane. So my Yuma group, so that includes my Yuma, Rainbow Gateway, um, Dugalungi Aboriginal Corporation, um, IDAC, that's a PBC, and we, we've since formed a new one uh, for the Spinifest grasses. But look, honestly, what we bring to the communities and the communities is employment and training. Um, and I, I guess a lot of knowledge because we're parting with a lot of knowledge on how to run integrated management systems. Um, we're ISO accredited so we can perform quality works and show people how to perform quality works. Um, we employ 150 people, so that money stays within the community. 99% of our, um, our, our staff are, are locally based and 85% of our staff are indigenous. So, you know, we, um, we bring a lot of um, um, infrastructure and, and funding to those communities where there hasn't been before. So there's quite a bit that, you know, I think somewhere around 30 to 35 million spent each year in the local community on goods and services. With the Department of Main Roads since, um, <clears throat> for 20 years, eh? Yeah, so 20 years is our relationship and, you know, this, this camp here or, you know, starting to turn into a community it was basically formed by the roadworks through a permit, um, a right of entry from main roads to set up this camp to to build and um, and um, construct the Georgina River Bridge. Made us our big sacred site. It's you know our storylines. Um, you now there's trees down there that belong to my grandmother. Um, families, um, dreaming line storylines that come through from the Northern Territory and you know from the South. Um, right up to Rocklands, um, you know, for generations and generations and generations, it's been our people's homeland. Well, we got to know every minister and every DG and every deputy DG and every district director. And basically, you know, we, we, we had that relationships kind of formed well, it, di it did form, you know, the, the Indigenous Procurement Policy federally because Nigel Scullion came out here and said, I like this, he took it away, and now you've got, you know, the IPP nationally. And from that, the states had to join in to look at Indigenous Procurement. Um, you know, it's not, it's not the, the best example, but it's a start. So we, we're doing um, 6801, the, the Gregory Camel Road. And there's often, you know, um, minor works contracts that come up around the region that we tend to for. But we, ha we have that relationship to put and seal, build and seal the, um, the Gregory uh, Camwell Road over the next five years. Well, uh, you know, the Georgina River Bridge and obviously the Barclay Highway. So, you know, that was upgraded in 2003, 4, 5 and 6. Um, over those years and obviously you can see the results has cut an hour off getting them out either really so it used to be an old goat track before built in World War II and you know all the bridges and all the new roadworks is is from that from that relationship
I think if they maintain on the course, you'll probably find that <clears throat> over time there'll be, you know, very competitive indigenous companies tendering for main roads works and civil works and expanding out, you know, because you, you, you know, the whole, the beauty of, of, of TMR, main roads, is that there's a pipeline of works and they actually involve you in that pipeline of works and are committed to giving you that pipeline of work if you're, you know, um, a company that's um, pre-qualified to do the work. So it's not about, you know, getting other people in to do works in remote Australia. The whole reason behind what main roads, you know, do is the fact that you've got local people, local resources, local knowledge. Um, and those resources, resources include water, you know, gravel, gravel pits, um, and obviously maintaining and looking after country for cultural heritage. So it's pretty well on their doorstep. And if you want to value add to projects, well then that's how you do it. I've learned that you treat your partners with respect. You don't smash them. You know, you can, you, can, you can really put your point across by working hard and working with them. And, um, and I think it's a two-way relationship. You know, if, if, our, if our people actually take on board, um, you know, what Main Roads wants to do and have the ability to do it, um, then it'll work. You know, but if you don't have the ability and the resources, you, got, you know, with our group, we've got to have skin in the game. And if we haven't got skin in the game, well, then it's just a one-way street. And Main Roads is happy to kind of part, partake in that but you've got to be able to deliver. That's one of the things about it. And if they do that, you, you know, your relationship's always sound. He asked me some, for some advice once and, and you know, the only way that you can get things done is stay on the road, right? And if you go off and follow bullshit tracks and, you know, try and create your own, it'll never work. And, it's like going from, you know, a destination to a point. If you want to go the long way around and end up in all the potholes, well then do that. But if you stay on the road, you'll always get there.